Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. So uninstall e, e anti cheat and launch the game. During the launch, it will reinstall e anti cheat. So make a right click on the game, uh, go to the game and then click on manage. Now click on view properties and then click on browse. It will take you to the game installation folder. Go to the game installation folder and then open installer folder. Now open e anti cheat folder and over here you can just make a double click click on yes to allow and if you see this uh, Madden NFL 25 selected in my case I don't see it I don't know I have to update 24 then it actually shows 25 so if you see Madden 25 in the list select Madden NFL 25 so now I will see it here you can see Madden NF25 once you select Madden 25 now click on uninstall now once the uninstall is success now you can launch the game and when you launch the game it will reinstall e anti cheat so here you can you will see it will install e anti cheat once again and that should fix the problem now still you are facing the problem the next step is to if you are able to launch the game you can try this if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game so launch the game and then turn off this now go to settings and then go to edit settings and then go to graphics now over here if this is on so in my case it's already off so if it is on turn this off and also turn off high dynamic range if this is off if this is on you can turn it off now for me the vsync is off so you can try vsync both on and off and check which one is working fine for you now go to frame rate now I have actually set it to 60 if you want no limit you can select no limit but I will set it to this auto now if this is set to full screen you can go to you can switch to window mode and if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p and then check the performance now the next step is to update the system BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website and update your system BIOS so go to your like if you have a Dell computer go to Dell if you have Lenovo go to Lenovo if you have HP computer go to HP website and find your BIOS select your model number and then find the BIOS now in case of laptop before you update the system BIOS make sure the AC adapter is connected to the computer and the, and the, the battery is more than 10% and during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update you can launch the game and then check now still you are facing the problem then please follow rest of the steps shown in this video so repair e anti cheat to repair it go to the game installation folder if you have the game on e app click on manage then click on view properties and then click on browse it will take you to the game installation folder if you have the game on steam Make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder and then open the installer folder over here and then open e anti cheat. Now open e anti cheat installer, make a double click, click on yes to allow and then select Madden 25. If you don't see Madden 25, you can select Madden 24 and then click on update and then you will see Madden 25. So in your case, you will see Madden 25 straight away. So select Madden 25 and then you have to click on repair. Once you click on repair, it will be asking you to select game folder. So click on OK and then go to the game installation folder. Wherever the game installed, in my case, it's in C drive. I have the game on EA app program files and then EA games and then select the game folder and then click, click on select folder and let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, once the install is success over here at the bottom now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work select Madden 25 and then click on update over here and once you see update check success now you can launch the game and then check 
if that does not work you can select Madden 25 and then click on uninstall over here and then click on install and now launch the game once the install is success launch the game and then check still not working select Madden 25 click on uninstall and do not click on install now we will just uninstall it close this box and then go and launch the game now once you launch the game during the launch it will install EA anti-cheat and here it will click on yes to allow to install EA anti-cheat and once this is installed now you can launch the game it should launch the game and then check now the next step is to run EA app or steam as an administrator so if you have EA app open you can close EA app if you have steam open close steam if you have the game on steam now open EA app as an administrator so just type in EA and then make a right click on EA app and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow do the same thing for steam if you have the game on steam make a right click on the steam click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to if you're using any third party antivirus like Avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now i don't have any third party antivirus i have windows security i'm using windows security so you can open windows settings go to privacy and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end you will see manage the ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so op open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps select all the exe file click on open and then again click on browse all apps and then select this one open do the same thing in control panel so type in control panel in the windows search box open control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder again select all the exe file and then click on add in my case i have already added again click on allow another app browse and select the trial one open again click on add in my case i have already added again click on allow another app browse and select this exe file now click on open now click on add and once the game is added once you have the game added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this go to the game exe file once again and then make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 and then hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then launch the game still not working so you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step now next step is to use EA anti-cheat game service launcher to launch the game so in the game installation folder here you can see EA anti-cheat game service launcher make a double click on this exe file or you can make a right click and then to go and run as administrator and this should launch the game now the next step is to repair or verify the game file now if you have the game on EA app click on manage over here and then click on repair once the repair is complete now you can launch the game and then check if you have the game on steam then you can go to library make a right click on madden nfl i don't have the game on steam so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check next step is to delete cache file system cache and user settings but you may lose all the saved settings so if you agree you can go to file explorer and then go to documents over here open Madden nfl 25 here you can see cache file system cache and user settings make a right click on these three and then delete it now you can launch the game and then check 
still not working next step is to rename or delete the save game files but you will lose all the game progress you will lose everything so you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can rename or delete the save game files or you can simply create a backup you can just copy this file put it on the desktop and then you can delete this folder and then you can launch the game if something if you want to put it back you can put the folder back so first of all you can try to make a right click and then you can click on rename you can rename it okay make a right click and then click on rename rename it whatever you want so i will just name it as madden nfl 25.old now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can make a right click and then delete but you will lose all the game progress so if you agree you can delete this and once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's geforce experience so make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file select the game exe file now click on add in my case i have already added the game so once the game is added you can click on the game and then click on options select high performance and then click on save and then launch the game next step is to roll back graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website i'll also for so for amd so once you go to the nvidia website select your graphic card from the list select the right operating system click on start search and then scroll down and the latest one right now is 560.81 game ready driver so if this is not working you can even try 560.70 or maybe 556.12 so try to roll back to the previous version click on get download run the exe file but when you install it make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation now amd card users first of all uninstall the current amd graphics card driver from your computer and then once you uninstall the current driver now go to nvidia uh, sorry amd website and then select your graphic card this is just an example i don't have amd graphic card but this is what you can do after you select the right graphic card click on submit and then scroll down click on previous drivers and then select your operating system and then if the current version is 24.6.1 you can try this 24.5.1 or maybe before that and when you download it make sure that you uninstall the previous one first and then install the the older version and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to update windows 10 or 11 this is important do not ignore this go to windows update or up, update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you have to install this visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 install both x86 and x64 so click on this file and then run the exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install
and then click on yes to allow let the download complete download this x64 file as well and again run this exe file and then follow the same steps so click on it if you see the repair click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case it is already installed it's telling me to restart my computer so after this restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have wheel pedals hotas any kind of usb adapter usb dongle connected to the computer which you're not using disconnect it also if you have extra controller connected disconnect it disable overlay now for this steam users can go to steam make a rectangle on the game select properties go to the controller tab turn off the option which says enable the steam sorry go to general option and over here you will see enable the steam overlay while in game you can turn this off and then check e app users can go to three horizontal lines on the top left and then go to settings go to application and then scroll down and if in game overlay is on you can turn it off and then you can launch the game and then check also if you have any other overlay application running like if you have discord running turn off overlay in discord turn off overlay in geforce experience or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi after one or reward you know or any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now if nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so first of all uninstall the game and then once you uninstall, in, uninstall the game uninstall once you uninstall is complete now go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive 
So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive, any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.